Hello everyone, I'm John with JP Strategic Investments and today we're going to go over Rocket Company's third quarter earnings report that we just got today. So let's dive right in. So first, if we just take a look at the top and bottom lines, in the third quarter Rocket Mortgage did $4.74 billion in revenue and they made $1.21 in adjusted non-GAAP EPS. This means that revenue and net income were up 163% and 365% respectively year over year. If we take a look at some of the other major highlights here, they generated a record closed loan origination volume of $89 billion and a net rate lock volume of $94.7 billion, which represent a year-over-year -year improvement of 122% and 101% respectively. They also increased their gain on sale margin by 37% year-over-year to 4.52%. So as far as the net rate lock volume of $94.7 billion, this is right in line with the guidance they gave last quarter. The closed loan origination volume of $89 billion actually beat the high end of their guidance by 5% or $400 million. Most importantly though, their gain on sale margin beat the high end of their guidance, which was 4.3%. This is especially good for Rocket because it means that they're able to make more money per loan that they originate and sell. If we dive a little deeper, we can find a few more notable highlights in the report one of which is their customer retention. So one of the things that they mentioned in the report is that Rocket Mortgage was again named number one in the nation for client satisfaction in mortgage origination by J.D. Power & Associates. And this is the 11th consecutive year that Rocket Mortgage has gained that award. Also, if we look at their retention metrics, they have two main ways of measuring how well they're able to keep customers once they've done business with Rocket. So the first metric here is their net client retention rate. This is basically the percentage of customers who remain with Rocket companies when they get a new loan or a new insurance policy or do any sort of other business. So a lot of people, when they get a new loan or add a new policy, they usually shop around and see if they can get a better deal somewhere else. So Rocket reports here that their net client retention rate in the 12 months ended September 30th, 2020 was 92% which is down just a few percentage points from a couple years ago, but is still very impressive. And according to Rocket, it rivals the retention rates of even the best subscription-based platforms across a variety of other industries. The next metric they use is called the refinance recapture rate, which they used to call the refinance retention rate. This is similar to the metric I just mentioned above, but it specifically applies to refinancing. So just to specify for the younger investors who may not have purchased or refinanced a home, when you refinance a home, you don't just change your interest rate. You're technically paying off your current mortgage and getting a new one with a different rate. So for a refinance, you can actually switch to a different mortgage service. So for this metric, Rocket reported that the refinance recapture rate was 82% for the 12 months ended September 30th, 2020, which is even higher than the 76% that they reported in the last quarter. Even more impressive, though, is the fact that this refinance recapture rate is more than four times the average refinance recapture rate in the industry, which is 18%. These strong customer retention metrics will help Rocket gain recurring revenue and profits from long-term customers, and will also allow them to be more aggressive with customer acquisition costs because they now know that they'll be able to keep these customers long term. Another important thing to note in the report is that their partnership programs with real estate agents and companies are showing strong growth. They even teased a partnership with a large financial service company that will be announced later on. These partnerships will allow Rocket to reach a broader customer base and increase their revenue in the future. The partnerships with real estate agents specifically also have an added advantage of allowing real estate agents to track the status of their mortgages directly from the app. This frees up Rocket Company employees from taking these status calls and allows them to focus on originating even more loans. It also frees up time for the real estate agents who can focus on showings and other customers, which will incentivize more agents to sign up with Rocket. Another thing that Rocket announced in the report was a $1 billion share buyback program that will begin today and be active for the next two years. One good thing about a buyback program is that it creates some artificial demand for the stock that can push the stock higher. It's also a good sign because it means the company wants to buy back their shares, which means that they believe that their stock is undervalued, at least in the short term. This gives investors confidence because it means that the leadership of the company has confidence in the company's future and is actively investing in its success. Finally, as far as their guidance for the fourth quarter, they're estimating roughly an 80% increase in closed loan volume and rate lock volume, and they estimate that gain on sales margins will be between 3.8 and 4.1%. Now, this is lower than the 4.5% that they reported this quarter, but most of that drop is due to an expected surge in their partnership programs with real estate agents and companies. Rocket pays these real estate agents and companies commissions for when they do business. This means that their overall profit margins for these loans are lower. 
That being said, Rocket is playing the long game here and counting on their stellar customer retention rate to increase the lifetime value that they get out of each of these customers. Overall, we think these are pretty strong earnings. Now the stock is down about 1.4% after hours, so it'll be interesting to see what happens tomorrow. Depending on what happens, we might actually add to our position. We do think that Rocket could have an opportunity in the coming months here if we do get added lockdowns. Rocket obviously has a key advantage here with their superior online platform which will allow them to continue to do more business while other mortgage servicers might have to cut back. We hope you found our analysis helpful. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing and have a great day.